is. It's us. We're on TV. Hey, viewers. Hello. Once again, you're dealing out with me. What happens here on the show? Turn on the machine. Whoa. I have a colorful camera. What you got? What? What's happening? Start talking. Oh, wave machine. Where's that? Turn on the thing. Where's that going? Yeah, something. Ooh, sounds funny in here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, back and forth. So once a day, every day, turn on the machine, start talking, then we're back here. You guys were watching yesterday, we we're at the border, we're back in the studio. Yep, we set it back up. We down one piece of equipment. We got this guy. Oh. Oh. He's gone. We're not using it anymore. We look a lot better today. We're not wavy. We can't do this thing anymore. Remember the hand, the hand wave Wave thing? tricks and all yeah. the red, the red side and the hue. So we're all back. We got a lot of messages. That's what happens when we do a... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, that is... That's a huge amount of messages. Here it is. Let's check some of these messages. We got one from Dan Dobler. Here's the first one. I, I called earlier, but... You uh, didn't answer. Uh, 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 if you have your show later, you can call me back. Bye. Okay. I think we called him last night and then got another call as it connected. Should we talk to him again? We can call him up it's too late. Yeah, it's a little bit of a late night. Hey, show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, where are you? Are you in the way? This is here. Bye. Yeah, it's from last night. Yeah, all these messages from last night. We're going mobile. This is when we're mobile all the way. It's going to be like this all the time. Yeah, lots of messages. Everyone's going to be like, hey, where are you? What's this event going on? I'm going to call the program. All right. Well, let's, I guess we'll just check all the voice from the beginning of the show here. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Hey, your day we are with me. It's Nicholas Travis. And uh, my friend Shane finds one of your uh, people that work with you cute. Uh, yeah. What's that? People that work Sorry. with you? What did he say? Cute gas? Cute gas? The people that work with you too? Yeah, what? Calling him back? Yeah, we're calling them back. I think that was maybe somebody who was there. Hey, the your day we are with me. It's Nicholas Carabaris. Uh, Nicholas, uh, yeah, it's Nicholas Carabaris. He was... Hello? Oh, he was one of the guys that was on the show last night. He's a vegan. Oh, he's the vegan. Nick's yeah. the vegan, everybody, yeah. And then also, uh, Yarn, we met Yarn last night. Hello? Yeah? Nick? Yeah? It's the program! Oh, hello. How are you doing? I'm, I'm pretty good, and this being cold You're outside. cold? It's cold uh, outside? Cold. Are, you, are you inside, though? Right? No. Oh, look at the moon. Are you outside right now? Yes. What's the moon? What's the moon doing? It's in It's raining. It's pretty good. It's a good night. It's a it's a good time. Is that what you're saying? No. What? No. It's a good moon tonight. It's a good moon tonight. Oh, it's in a good. The moon's in a good mood tonight. What way is it? Let's see. I'm trying to look at the calendar here. Is it? I can't oh, tell. Wait. Is the moon waning or waxing? Which, which quarter? Yeah, is it Does it look pretty skinny? full or is it skinny? No, it's not skinny. It was full like a couple of days ago. So it's like, it's, you know when there's a tiny bit taken off so it looks like oval? Oh yeah, that. like the egg. Really? Yeah. Egg form. Really nice. Egg form. Do you want to come <laughs> into the studio on Thursday the 19th? Um, sure. In the, in the afternoon? Huh? A in, the, news? in the afternoon or at night time? After noodle at After noon? Like 2 p.m. or at night time? Oh, okay. What what time do you like to do the show? On Thursday, what's your schedule on Thursday the, the 19th? Um, I'm free all day that day because I don't have any school. Okay, how about, how about at nice. 2 o'clock then? Okay. Two o'clock. We're located next to the Capitol. Yeah. Most okay. of the time, you you you're you're uh, here for two night shows, so you know sometimes sometimes we do the show kind of late. 
But usually we do it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's about usually when you can call in and talk to the program. It's a good time. Oh. Okay. Cool. I'm going to be on the 19th. <laughs> hey, have you seen anything on the streets lately? What do you mean on the streets? Like, have you seen any, like, <laughs> anybody, anybody yelling or, like, a, anybody fall down or anybody that was trying, they're trying to do one thing? They're trying to do one thing, but they know doing something else? What? I, I found a noose on the street yesterday, but I don't know what that a noose? was for. Yeah, it was sitting, it was like on the ground, and I picked it up and I went, oh, a noose! And then I was carrying it around, and then some really obese man came up to me, and he asked if I was going to hang myself, and I told him yes, and then he said, well, good, and then he walked away. Oh, no. Wow. Was it a sturdy looking noose? Do you think it was, do you think it was a, a, like a usable noose, or was it just like kind of limp and maybe it just for a show? Was it too thin to really be effective? I, it seems pretty real. Whoa. It seems like it was used. You know, it was yeah, used? A, Already been used? What? Is that what you said? You have a rope. You have a piece of rope. Yeah. But then you can just make it into a noose. You yeah. Because nooses are kind of scary. You know, I find a piece of rope on the floor, on the ground. You're walking around. You're like, oh, it's a piece of rope. Yeah, that's not scary at all. The scariest not at all. A fucking noose. That's a weapon. Yeah. That, that is not safe, sir. Yeah. So. Wait, what about, uh, yeah. Are there any other knots that, uh, Evoke strong scary. emotions. Maybe like the half hitch. Yeah. Is that like a calming knot? Yeah. I don't know a lot about knots because I was never in Boy Scouts. Yeah. What did what, uh, did, what did you do with the noose? I I left it on the ground oh, and good. then walked away from it. Oh, you left it. Oh, no, I picked it up and then I walked around with it, but then I didn't want it. Anymore. You didn't. You I didn't. Still, you untied it. Yeah, I was gonna say you should probably have untied it. Oh, yeah, but I wanted, like, a child to find it. Yeah. But I'm going to go. Have a good night. Okay, we'll see you on the, on the 19th. Green. Yes. Cool. Okay, thanks, Nick. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, that's pretty freaky. I'm never... Whoa. What's happening? Yeah. When you find something on the ground, you see, you ever see like, a gun or something on the ground, that'd be pretty freaky. Maybe this, you can just tie a noose and just throw them around, though. Yeah, it's not a not a good toy, the noose. Yeah. Yeah, and other other things, you know, like a knife or a gun. No noose is good noose. Or like a, you know, even like dynamite or something, you know, you can do other things with those. But right. a noose, a noose is only for death. Right. Like yeah, knives, knives and guns, they have other purposes possibly. Oh, John Whalen tried to call us. What? We got a voicemail from John Whalen. What's that uh, text from Markley say? Yeah, well, as always, I have no idea what he just said. Oh, <laughs> we tried to call him, maybe. What? Did we? Did I don't remember doing it. Huh, that could have happened. Mark's text, he says, Want to come to K and do the show there Tuesday evening, maybe? Next yeah, Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, three. That'll be with Aviva. Ooh, Actually, yeah. Aviva is scheduled, so yeah, that'll be probably fun. I've never even, is that the new, the new K Records building? I've never even been in there. I, I don't know. Let's call him and find out here. I think that's a that's a good time. Or yeah. Tuesday evening though. I'm, I'm pretty serious about this whole app thing, you know. I think we should uh as we go mobile start marking every spot on the map. Oh yeah. With a link to the episodes that were on in that place. Good idea. So then you can just look right at here. the map. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hey Mark, it's the program, how you doing? Good. We got your well, you guys message. are operating late these days. Oh yeah. Sometimes, sometimes our, that happens. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, yeah, you got my message about... Yeah. That sounds yeah, like a good Do you have a mobile one. unit? We're... Yeah, we're going to have a mobile unit running by then. Uh, that's okay. Next week, but we're going to... Yeah, we can go mobile. Yeah, yeah, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. Which one sounds best? Sunday. Sunday. Sunday sounds best? Yeah. All right. Cool. I'll tell everybody. Yeah. In the evening? Late night or how late? What time? Not late night. Probably mm. not too late, but probably like probably around like six or seven. Oh, okay. Do you have to work on Sunday? I can try to. Or maybe Tuesday. Well, yeah, Sunday is probably fine. Okay. But you're gonna cool. Yeah, just time. keep in touch. Okay. Hey, 
Mark, have you uh, seen anything on the street lately? Whoa, oh, you want to know something crazy that happened to me at work yesterday? Yes. So I was, um, I was at work and um, I went and put on some music. Um, I put on that Brian Eno album, Here Come the Warm Jets, like that first rock and roll album he did. Yeah. And this woman, this woman who I recognize from, like, I recognize her as a regular customer. So I'm in a crowd. Um, yeah. This woman I recognize uh, from being a regular customer, she's like, heard the song come on. And she just like got up and she's like, oh my God, I haven't heard this. I haven't heard this for years, so many years. And she's like, my, my friend Craig from, uh, Craig Wedren from Shudder to Think used to listen to this a lot when we lived in France. And I was like, oh, really? I know that band. I used to listen to them a lot. I liked them a lot. And she's like, ah. Yeah, you know, we were just living in Paris, and I was working for Rough Trade Records. She, like, sat down, and I sat down with her. She started telling me the story. As soon as I sat down, she just turned and just started weeping, like, uncontrollably. She just started crying. Whoa. She, like, I didn't realize she was crying, but she, like, put her hand into her elbow, you know? Her, her put her face in her elbow. And then... <laughs> came up and she was just tears running down her cheeks and her face was red she said I never should have come back to the States whoa. and I was like whoa. whoa and then she just kept crying another minute and then she was like it's okay I'm leaving Olympia soon and then she introduced herself to me and then she left she packed up all her stuff and took off Aww. But it was just out of nowhere and she said that kind of shit was happening to her like all the time lately that's just wrong. something strikes that's yeah isn't that weird yeah I, I was just all I did was put on a CD and then all of a sudden this person just had a breakdown wow if I what if I had just put on you know what if I just went up and put on Hall and Oates or something yeah <laughs> probably would have stayed there and just changed the future email. yeah uh, yeah. Yeah. I hope that she is becomes happy. That sounds like she's having a hard time with being where she is. Yeah. That's it's the impression I got. It's a. It's amazing that I don't know. People you see every day, you never think or realize those kinds of things are going on in, in their heads sometimes. Like especially. Wait. Is that ready? Yeah. That's. Oh, hey. How's it going, Mark? That's <laughs> ready. I thought that was you. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, but no, it's hey, cool. You got an extra TV? An extra TV? I need a TV. I don't have one. I got yeah. We yeah, got a TV. We got a TV. I have I have uh, I have like 22 TVs. I think I might maybe I can spare one. You don't have a TV VCR combo, do you? I have maybe one. I don't know if it actually works. They have them for a good. Okay, if it Goodwill. works, I'll buy it from you. They have I them. you know I went and tested out the ones at Goodwill yesterday, and they appeared to be working. <laughs> Yeah. Because they had the line well, in like, running, like but when I put a tape in it, I put a tape in it, and it just powered off. Oh, man. And then the other one they had was like a five-inch screen. I, I was like, yeah, that's yeah. not good enough. The best way to go is just get a VCR on the dollar days, and then just get a TV, too. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, I have a VCR, so I just need to get a TV. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you should come over to TV Mountain and check it out. Maybe take one, I guess. Is that where you live? Yeah. Well, no, I live at the Scratchland. But uh, TV Mountain is there too. Oh, is that in the studio? Oh, it's there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Hey, right, cool. I'll see you in like an hour. Oh, okay. I'll be there. Okay. All right. Hey, Mark. Right. So Monday, yeah, cool. Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. One of those days, I'll get off work. I can just talk to them. Whatever day is that good? But we'll see you one of those days next week, right? Yep. Sounds All right. Great. Just keep in touch. All right. We'll thanks, Mark. Figure it out. Figure out what's Okay. Bye, bye. Maybe Monday. Is Monday not good for you? I don't know. i got to find out what day I get off work. But one of those days I can get off work, I'm sure. But one of the three, and that'll be great. So that was a lot of we're doing. If you guys haven't seen this before, we're doing all this detect or the this is the behind the scenes stuff. But we don't have a behind the scenes on the show. We just uh, schedule and do all this stuff. Maybe we should start uh, making that a segment. Whenever we start doing something that's behind the scenes to make it more official, we like 
Get say a thing, thing and, and maybe have a theme song maybe you know it's like hey it's time for the behind the scenes and then we talk about how to do a thing and then yeah. and we start talking about more topical stuff we could come back from it maybe we can get one of those boards yeah oh we gotta build that maybe we build that camera remember the camera thing we're yeah. gonna build a, a card then, system oh whoa that could be a modular a modular input too just like a box with yeah. card you just slide with the, the card, card in yeah oh part of the we could put it in the box we're gonna build these boxes when we go mobile here, and we'll yeah, build that we're later. But they're in the prototype phase right now. We're gonna have these two boxes. So right now we're pretty much running the show out of these two yeah, we gotta things right hear now. It. Yeah. So it's pretty small. All we have is these two things, and then we have the extra camera. We could use that camera as the, the extra thing. We're gonna be going mobile soon, and we're gonna be testing it out over there at, at the at the record at the K Records with the uh, lake. to see them over there. Well, let's keep checking the messages here. We got another one from Sean Downey. Oh, no, I think that might even go to this one. Oh, Is it a pocket dial? What are you doing? It is a... What is this? What is this? We're recording your conversation for the daily hour. Huh? Hey, Kenny. Hey, hey. Sean. It's a pocket. The machine. Colors and Ciara on E. Big night. Yeah. Oh yeah, dance box is coming back. What is? Who? Dance or dance? Here's my story. Oh, Whoa. Something's coming back. Man, they're unintelligible. Yeah, what are they saying? All right, that was the last message we got. That was pretty exciting. So, what are we gonna do now? We have about. Four minutes till the commercial break happens. You know, I think we're gonna have to, or we can call McDonald's maybe, or figure out something else to do. When we're gonna go mobile soon, we have a, uh, tomorrow Luke and Duck Hugger are gonna be here. So we're gonna call them after, the, I think we're gonna wait till after the commercial break. There's Sue. Uh, you know, I didn't, yeah, like I did, I guess I didn't think of what we're gonna do today. And now we're in the, in, in the middle of the show waiting for the commercial break, and this is where we're at when we kind of look for the commercial break to happen. So it'll be Could be any here. second now, really. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, we kind of know exactly when it's going to happen, but if you're watching that clock down in the bottom there, that's how you can tell. It's almost there. When it passes the Y, then it goes into the break. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, I was thinking about that. Do you think we should move it to 15 minutes? Because I feel like maybe all of the exciting moments of the show are all happening... Um, right at 20 minutes. Right yeah. in between, yeah, the middle 20 minutes there. So... Maybe, yeah, maybe we should switch it to the 15. Then, then instead of separating it, the program into into thirds, it separates it into quarters. Maybe that'd be a more palatable. Get more, get more commercial. Yeah. Oh yeah. More. Com or more. I mean, that's still. It would still be like. Oh, 15 halfway and then third commercial. Yeah. Yeah. That's 40, a good 45. 45. Maybe. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good one. So, you know, we're we're a flexible program here. If you've got suggestions, everyone's always, you know, trying to say what we should do better, I guess. And we can't stop them, I guess. Yeah, so next time we're going to move uh, move this thing down here. Maybe if we can start collecting messages, too. If you guys have any messages out there, you want to see, you see how these wor there's words down here. You see this text and stuff. If you guys want to have uh, something to say, if you have any community uh, community events or... Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, just messages or just, like, shout-outs. Or if you just want, maybe we can just put your name, you know, you want to say... Uh, can send us the thing and see what time you want your name to be on TV and you can be like, hey, did you know that my name is on TV or this message and tell your friends to see this message or if you want to uh, get married or something, you're like, hey, watch this show and you're like, oh, it's on TV and then they say, will you marry me on the thing? And then oh, yeah, the thing. yeah, watch this show and then it will say, will you marry me? Or we just put, we just put one on the, on the, up there. Oh, yeah. And then, people, and then we just... Oh, yeah, what's like a common name, like, you know, like yeah, Ashley, oh, yeah. will you marry me? Ashley, and then it probably make some awkward things happen, maybe. Yeah, who's gonna get married? But not, not that wouldn't be me. Or else. All right. Oh yeah, not us. It, you know, yeah. it'd be messages from the viewers. Magan, Magan, 
fly, you gotta fly in the fly, in the fly, in the fly. Are you ready for the time of your life? Should we, oh, you go to the next one? I was gonna say, oh, what happened? I was just gonna say, if you guys have a commercial out there, uh, that you want, these are all just community commercials from, uh, you know, like bands or, uh, like that one was for a tape. Um, we've got other things, nonprofits, promos, whatever, uh, we'll put them on the program. So just send them to us. You can go to our website, ydhwm.co.cc, or email us at yourdailyrfb at gmail.com. Yeah, here, it's called Luke. Luke is scheduled to be on here tomorrow. Uh, where's the number? I call him. I look it up every time I call Luke, I go look it up. I gotta save it to the thing. Yeah, save it. Save it. We're gonna save those numbers. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to keep looking at my every time we call him. So that's uh, Luke is getting. Luke and Duck Hunter. I'm sorry, I think. Is Dance Dance happening tomorrow? Um, no, I believe Dance Dance happened last Friday. Oh, okay. So, well, no. Was that, it was a fun one. Oh yeah, there's a new uh, show on TV too. A bunch of cooking shows are gonna start happening on this channel too. What's that? Um, one of them's already on. It's called Martha and Me, I think. What time is that on? Uh, Saturdays at five and Tuesdays at something. I'm not sure. You can look it up on the TCTV website or find it at, her, at their show page. But <laughs> yeah, it's a cooking show. Is the is it not ringing? What? Okay. Oh, I hear it. It's quiet. Luke, Luke and Ducker, they share an apartment, so this is Hello. Both. Please record after the phone. Oh, Luke. Uh, Luke, uh, do you guys have one of those messages where it's out loud and, like, Dan, or, I don't know, wait, it's the program. You guys are <laughs> scheduled to be on here tomorrow, so. What time is that, that they're supposed to be here tomorrow? Yeah, we didn't schedule a time yet, so. Oh, well. We'll figure that out. Maybe you've got uh, about th 25, no, no, 30, 35 minutes left of the program. Uh, 40 maybe, and you can call back, but maybe like 2 o'clock, is that what you want to do tomorrow? Yeah, 2 or 3, guys, so call us, call us back here, you know, the 330 okay, thanks. Well, they're going to be here tomorrow, hopefully, uh, I should have called them earlier. It's okay, sometimes that's just the way it goes, it's part of the story on the program. You never know, sometimes if the guests are going to show up, like Adrian, we, well, I mean, maybe... We call her. She was we gonna. Call her. She wasn't scheduled. She wasn't scheduled. Oh, okay. But I gotta look up all the numbers. I gotta start saving the numbers. Oh, I should probably save that one. Save that number. Yeah. Here, this is Luke. Save Luke's number here. And we'll know. Luke and Duck Hugger. Just save it as Luke. I'll remember. Yeah. Getting the thing out. Calling Adrian now. We missed her, yeah, she was probably outside for a while. It's very cold outside today. It's finally got getting into winter here. We, I heard that we had some kind of record warm winter so far. Or yeah, supposedly it's, uh, I've heard a couple rumors that it's going to snow, but I think that might just be people trying to get people excited about stuff. Oh, that looks nice. Voice mailbox of 360-349. Is that now? Uh, oh, is it going to Adrian? It's the program. Uh, we're calling you because you're and we missed the thing. So okay, bye bye. Oh yeah, she her phone's off. Phone's off, yeah. Damn, All right. Too bad. Well, um, hmm. we have a science fair on February 8th. That's an event that's happening. Other than that, you know, um, they put all the holidays in December and then. In January, there's kind of this like lull of holidays. I think January, and then like, well, there's like Valentine's Day, but pretty much like January to, I guess, one of the holiday seasons. So it's mostly just kind of everyday things. So we're getting through the time. Yeah, it starts to feel 
little real, you know. No, none of this. Ho- I feel like the last couple months have just been like one holiday leading up to another one. Now it's yeah. got got some space in between where we gotta just kind of reflect on our daily lives. We're in, yeah, we're in the winter too, so it's kind of like you know, on the in the summer where it gets more exciting, and you know sometimes you guys want some excitement, but you know today it's the middle of winter and uh, we're just kind of going along. So we're in the same attitude as you guys out there, on, on maybe on, in the winter for today, as far as like. Uh, you know, exciting things to happen today. It's just we're doing the, the show and we're, you know, but we're so, we're, uh, as we're getting towards the end of the month here, we're going to be leaving the studio, so. Yeah, so we're going to probably, very soon we're going to start building the boxes and you'll get to see them maybe, or maybe we'll bring in plans and pictures or something and yeah. then you can see what it turns out to be in the end. Remember when we first got into the studio, it was so exciting. We were like, oh, we're in a new room. But we first, we spent the first, uh, you know, six or seven months out of my out of my home and then we moved into the studio and now we're going mobile it's a new chapter yeah you know i i heard uh dan is is wanting to make some kind of a backdrop or something is oh that, yeah is that still true is yeah we got to get a sheet yeah a big sheet i was thinking we were ta- uh maybe if he could paint the couch like paint the couch as the backdrop especially if we don't get to keep the couch oh yeah like the couch or maybe like some space oh and if you get to paint the, yeah paint, the paint sh- this the couch the onto ca- onto the backdrop and then maybe, but like maybe then like outer space behind the couch with the, the letters Y D H W M in yeah. space. That'd be, uh, maybe he could draw this map. Oh yeah, he could draw the map of the, the Rocky couch, Mountain yeah. National Park. But put the couch on it. Yeah, just on the one of those big things. on there. All right, well here, let's call some McDonald's, I guess, and see how they're doing today. We're gonna, we're gonna have to call Hawaii again. Seems like we call, I mean, it's been, every time we do a late show, we call Hawaii. Uh, see, I think yesterday we did a late show, yeah, but the day, two days before that we weren't late, but I think the day before that was, was Yeah, late. I mean, Hawaii is, is kind of the most, I don't know, the most different between any other kind of the McDonald's. They have the taro pies. Yeah, I really want to try that taro pie. I, I wish that they could send that over here somewhere, or, or that maybe some place around here would bring the taro pie. Oh, yeah, maybe we could, maybe we could call to McDonald's and ask them to bring it over. Call them. Call them and ask them if we can get it. Yeah. Stateside. Who we're gonna call though? I don't know if there anybody's gonna get it. We could try to call the like open Hawaii is open right now probably. What if we have any friends in Hawaii? I guess if I had friends in Hawaii, I'd go visit them. Would they like ship a pie? Ship a cold pie? Maybe I don't can know. Can you ship a pie? Well, I mean, it, think about it like those apple pies you get from McDonald's. You could probably ship one of those. Hey, and try to McDonald's, may I help you? Hey, McDonald's. I I have a question about the pies. I wanted to, I heard you guys have the, do you guys have the taro pies? Yeah. Like, I wanted to get some, I'm in Washington State, do you guys, like, ever gonna bring them over here? Is there any way you, can, you guys can ship them? Uh, no, we don't do that. You should have taro pies throughout the United States, because it's not just a Hawaii product. Oh, well, they, I guess they don't have them in Washington State. Maybe I can ask some people. Okay. Do you, do you, do they, when they arrive at the store, are they frozen? Uh, it's a frozen product, yeah. And then, and then it just, is there, are they baked? You just put them in the, like an oven machine? It's, in, in the mainland it's baked and in Hawaii it's fried. Oh, okay, it's a deep fried, that sounds awesome. So all, all the pies are fried in Hawaii? Yeah. Man, I gotta go to Hawaii. I wonder if they're ready. Well done. They, maybe they'll, they'll, uh, they'll fry them stateside. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, back. Whoa, they're fried? That's insane. Fried, but, fried. See, it gets deeper, you know, the... It's getting deeper. Yeah, I didn't ever hear about that. I wonder if they only have the fried pies here. I don't think they have those pies in Washington State. I bet. I, see, I think that uh, if it was fried, I bet that you could do an overnight shipping, you know, and it would still be fine. Yeah. Oh, like I mean, deep fried, that'd be so good. Fast fried, yeah, but this yeah. is, I think. Like French fried, fried, the, the fry it in the French fryer. Yeah, deep fried. I wonder fried. if you could ask McDonald's to fry other things in the French fryer. Like the pies? I don't know if they get a fried pie yet. Maybe, can you, like a burger, you just get the burger dipped in there? A deep fried burger, yeah. They had that complaint though about putting meat in the in the food. Or the oh fries. yeah, because the fries are but vegan otherwise, I think. You can't combine, yeah, you can't combine meat and fries. Oh yeah, we should tell that to Nick. He said he didn't like McDonald's. Oh. Because he was a vegan, he's like, no, I hate McDonald's because it's a vegan stuff. So. What? No, you can eat the fries, I think. Yeah. Alright, we're almost getting into the weekend too. Let's see, Lewis and oh yeah, we don't have anybody for Sunday. But we'll, that's why we might go to. Go to K-Rickers yeah, I think we should. Sunday, oh, K Records. Oh, yeah. What about Sean's Sean Seattle on Sunday? We're gonna. Oh, the, the, it moved, got moved down to Olympia. Anyway. Oh, okay. So we're not gonna even have to leave town. 
All right, well, yeah, well, I guess let's call somebody from the list and see how people on the list are doing. See how everybody around the country. Uh, look at the, the 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 old call people and see if we can get anybody filled up the fill up the calendar for the rest of the month here. We should call Paul. Call Tell Paul. him this guy is scheduled for next Friday, so we'll get him a heads up for next week. Yeah, early warning. Sometimes you need that just so you don't accidentally plan over a time that you already had. See, uh, yeah, when we, last time we went mobile, we, we brought the, the um, calendar with us, and that helped out. So we had oh, yeah. But then uh, that was also a problem because after we did the, that the first time, took the calendar with us when we went mobile, we forgot to bring it back to the studio for like two weeks. Oh, yeah. The next so. time we're going to have to put, just like, connect it to the box. Yeah, maybe it will we'll be a part of the box. What kind of wood do you have? I have, um, lumber. So like two by fours? Uh, it's not quite as thick as two by fours. It's, it's like big sheets of, hello? Hello? Hey, Paul. Hey. It's the program. How you doing? Oh, shit. Today's the program? <laughs> oh, no. Well, every day's the program, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess it's a program every day, huh? It is. Yeah, yeah how's it going? Hey, we're doing good. You know your schedule for the program on the 20th? Oh, sweet. That's what I was thinking. I'm so glad you were calling me, telling me that your schedule's right now, Paul, but I got some heads up. Please yeah, we're get. trying to give you, give you early warning. That's good. Um, what day is the 20th? It's like day of the week. Friday. Friday. Oh, that's perfect. You is the program happening right now? Is my voice on the program? Yeah, yeah you're, you're on, on TV. Hell yeah. Milo, we're on TV. <laughs> so I guess I am. Not you. No, you're you looking at someone who's on TV. Oh, wow. Yeah, Milo, we all say hello to Milo, viewers. Hi. You want to talk to Milo for a second? Sure. Yeah. Okay, do you have anything else you wanted to tell me? Oh yeah, you can put, you can get it back from Milo after. Okay, here's Milo. Hello? Hey Milo, you're on TV. Hey, who's this? It's your daily hour with me. You're on TV. Oh. It's, we're on public access 11.30 every night on uh, channel 22. Do you have cable? Cool. No, I don't have cable. Oh, just do, do you have a friend that has cable? Um, yes. Oh yeah, you should go watch it at the house. It's uh, or channel on the internet. You know. Yeah, do you do you have the internet? You have YouTube or on YouTube also. YouTube. Have you, cool. ever, have you ever been on TV before? No, not me. No, never. Not on the news or anything. Have you ever, have you ever seen the news taping anywhere? Escaping? What? Like, have you ever seen a news camera you could go and make it, like, make faces behind the newscast or anything? Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. I want to do that. Have you never done that, though? No, not, not, not yet. Hey, what do you eat for lunch? What do you eat for lunch? Uh, psychedelic mushrooms. Psychedelic mushrooms? Are you, is that true? Are you joking, or? I'm not joking. Uh, yeah. how was, how was that? Did you go run in the woods? you have a spiritual yeah. experience? No, but I ran around the woods. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. A, that's a good, that's a good, great lunch there, um, Milo. Hey, <laughs> do you like McDonald's? Not really. Oh, yeah? A little bit? What's your favorite chicken nugget sauce? Uh, I, I, actually, I, I don't know. I get, I get terrible stomach aches from chicken nuggets. I can't eat them anymore. Oh. Do you use any of the dipping yeah. sauces for anything else? Like, do you? What about the French fries? I, that's kind of what I'm partial to. I think that McDonald's has good French fries. Oh, um, no, they it, not very good for you. You really should stay off those. But the fries? No, the fries are fine. It's like they're fried in vegetable oil. They're made of potatoes. You know, it's fine. Yeah, you can power your car off though. Is it what? Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that's like the healthiest car for the environment. You know. It's not like it's gas. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen anybody uh, give the Heimlich maneuver? Not right, no, no. How about, have you ever seen anybody use a fire extinguisher? 
<laughs> yeah, actually, some kid broke into our school and sprayed all over all the hallways with like what? But they broke into school. Why did they have to? They couldn't just walk in. Yeah, they just, they just kicked down the door. They're like, I'm spraying this shit at night. Uh, it was early in the morning before all the classes started. It was pretty pretty epic. But you, and you saw it happen? No, I saw him running away and I saw a bunch of camp fire extinguishers in the ground and all everyone's shit was ruined. Like like the stuff they was already in the school in the morning though? What what did they have to cancel school? No. They just canceled classes in that building yet. Did, did those people did they get caught? Uh I don't know. I don't think I had security cameras or anything. I think he just ran away. Wow. We had a lot of uh, of minority kids, you know. They couldn't keep track of them all. He just ran too fast. They couldn't. Well, you said well, you the minorities are more apt to do like uh, bad things. Did you say African Jew? No, you're you're being uh, you're being a racist. You're being a racist? Hey, he was black, man. He was black. That's yeah, he was stupid. black. All right, but that's not why he did it, right? Maybe he was mad. Was he mad? No. no, but it's not like it's not like we're in Iowa. Or, sorry, Paul, but yeah. it's not like we're in Iowa and he's the one black kid. You know, he's just like a bunch of like you know. It's hard to keep. Yeah, it's not, he probably was victimized. Oh, oh. I would say if he's in Iowa and he's the, he was the only black dude, uh, that seems like he was victimized and he's getting back to school. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> that's a sad story. Paul I think. has. Uh, Paul has a, an interesting little condition you might be interested in. Uh, he has 19 penises. Um, and you'd like to tell you about it. That's funny. Hello? Hey, jokester. Hey, your friend's a, a racist jokester, huh? <laughs> no, dude, he's, he's serious. He's serious about, about your having 19 penises? I've got 19 of them. Guess how many wives I have. How many? Yes. Nineteen? No, I don't have any. I'm lonely. That's too bad. That's, that's another sad story. Yeah, yeah, you guys are bummed yeah, out today. You guys are depressing. <laughs> no, I'm lonely because, like, what if you're, like, attractive female and, like, some dude came up to you and, like, you can't even see his face because there's too many penises in your way. Did you want to marry him? No. No. So you're trying to get married? Marriage is kind of an old concept, don't you think? What do you think about the whole construct of marriage? Do you still think that's a valid form of stuff? Yes. Yes, I do. I would. I really want to get married someday. Um, maybe, maybe a little sooner than other people. But I wouldn't do it right now. I don't think I'm ready right now. That's good. Uh, but I definitely do. I don't know, maybe that's another Iowa thing. Oh, you're from Iowa. Yeah, you're friends from Iowa too. So you guys all came up from Iowa, huh? That's good. Hey, Paul. Yeah, and then, oh. then uh, Milo's from Louisiana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did he know? Did he? Yeah. Is he lying to us? No, no, it's true. That's why it's funny that he thought he was a jerkster, but I just told you he's serious. But it makes sense if he's from the South, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's okay. Um. That's the cultural uh, difference there. So, hey, Paul, have you seen anything on the streets lately? Have I seen anything on the streets lately? Wait, is your friend, is he visiting? Is he visiting from, from, uh, Louisiana there? No, he, he lives here. He goes to school. Uh, okay. I met him. I have some yeah, from I used Louisiana. to play. What about Louisiana? I can try to answer it. Just, just he, does he speak, uh, French? Does he speak French? Yeah, he does French. Yeah, he actually does a little bit. He was just telling me tonight, actually, that he he got to level three in middle school, and uh, he's got to me a little bit about is he, French. From, uh, is he from Louisiana? Yeah, he's from New Orleans. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where he's from. 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 We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder. 
Did his, did his house get hurt or any of his possessions or his family or anything in the hurricane there? I think his house is fine. Is your house fine, Milo? Is your house fine? Yeah, his house is fine. Did you have any good friends whose houses weren't fine? They took in his town, his school in Lafayette, which is a smaller town. Bigger than Olympia, I think, though. Took in a thousand kids from New Orleans. Good job. Good job, man. Um, did you did you know that uh, two three summers ago, four summers ago, Iowa had a flood um, that, as far as disaster goes, was like as large as Katrina. Damage-wise goes, but nobody heard about it because no one gives a shit about the Midwest. Whoa. What was it? People got killed or something? Yeah, people got killed. People lost their houses. Um, like I was actually driving back from Florida. Like I went down to Florida to take photographs of a friend's wedding, and then when I was driving back to Iowa, I was in Alabama, and I woke up in a hotel in Alabama, and I turned on the television. And I saw my hometown, the tiny ass town in, in Iowa, and I saw it on national television, and it was completely submerged underwater. Whoa. The entire town, I mean, not the entire town, but a pretty good chunk where like people were uh, diving off their roof, you know? Um, they're taking, taking a boat to work. Taking um, a boat to work? Yeah, well, they actually probably didn't have work because it was probably closed because of the flood, but it's, yeah. you know. Did, um, did your family's house get uh, ruined? No, luckily my family's house was fine too. But uh, I think it was. You guys are lucky families. Got like lucky my, families my, there. Yeah, I know. I think in my town there's only like 35 houses that got hit. Um, but like further south, I'm just being northern Iowa, further south, it was like some ridiculous number that I don't even know. But it was like the majority of the town was out. It was like a bigger town too. How come they don't make houses waterproof in like dangerous areas? Like make them watertight so that if the floods happen, they can know. just like seal them up and then just stay in like a bubble. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's weird. I mean, but if you think about it, anywhere we're at right now, like I'm at the fish tail right now, and you guys are at the studio. What if the mirror blows up right now? Like are they are they volcanoes there? Yeah, did you say, wait, where are you at? Did you say you're at the fish tail? Yeah. Oh, right, that's a good place. Are you guys pretty close? You got that, uh, you got those cups on the wall that people have their names on. You see those? Are you over by those? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, no, we're, we're the room next to that room. Not the big main room, but the, the room right next to that room that you're talking about. Yeah, they got all the, who gets those cups? Isn't that like some kind of waiting list or something? Like, do you have to, do people have to I die? Think it's like rich. Yeah. I think it's rich people. Oh. Like, I will give you a, I'll give you a thousand dollars for my name on this mug. Yeah, you can. I love your beer. I'd give you, I'd give people a, a mug with their name on it for less money than that. That's for sure. Yeah, you can get your name on the show. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You want your name on the show? You want to be up here? You want to be on the crew? Yeah, Paul. Yeah, we got You know how there's words on the show. We're gonna be do, redoing the words. Do you have any messages that you would want to put onto a background tape? Um, yeah, let me think of one. All right. Um, let's see, what's the good thing that I've heard recently? Um, well, here's one. Can I think of a multiple one? Because this is just a first one that comes to my head. Yep. But be kind to your mother and drink your milk. 
Yeah, that's a good message. Drink her milk? Not her milk. Oh. No, drink your milk. Your oh, milk. That would be funny. What does that mean? That would be funny if it was her milk. Yeah. So you help your bones, okay. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah. I don't, I don't think milk is actually good for you. Yeah, calcium... Be aware, viewers. Do do your own research on calcium there. Yeah. I mean, calcium's good, but milk might not be the best source of calcium as... as uh, you know, that's... that's like an archaic thing. I think they, they, they started saying that, you know, before they really knew that much about health and science and stuff. Well, it's also PR, too. That's what the... Yeah. That's what the milk industry wants you to think, the big milk corporations. Yeah, I think drinking milk is not... Think about it, it comes from the udder of a cow. How healthy can it possibly be? I don't really drink milk. No, I don't drink milk either. You big milk drinker, man? I love milk. It's so good. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, mix fish in, you know, like some cookies. And oh, milk. yeah. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah, I guess I didn't mean to make, to, to, to say too many mean things about milk. I think milk is fine in, in moderation, and especially with cookies, definitely. I think yeah. I, I've always Nobody thought you drinking up the beverage, though. Somebody you know McDonald's goes out there. It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird when you think about like a cow and a cow's nipple and like pretending to see like a baby human sucking on a, a cow's nipple instead of a baby human sucking on like a human's nipple. Yeah. Yeah. Which which one of you is from Ohio? Oh, that's the program number. Change yeah, we need to get it. We're gonna get a new number. We're gonna get three, a three six zero number, and uh, we're gonna. Oh wow. Uh, we're gonna be getting new phones. We're gonna be getting new system. We're going mobile at the end of the month, Paul. We're gonna. The old number will still work, though. You going mobile? We're going mobile, yeah. Cool. At the end of the month. Is that gonna be before or after my date on the twentieth? That's gonna be after. You're gonna be in the last. Uh, you're gonna be in the last studio here, and then we'll be going mobile. Oh, cool. Are you guys stoked on that? We might be able to go mobile before that, too. We're gonna... We'll play it. We'll play it by ear. Yeah. Well... Alright, Paul, do you have anything else well, to say today on TV, yeah? Uh, no, that should be good. I should probably leave anyways, because I don't want to leave Philo hanging, although he is showing me a ridiculously funny and cute picture of a cat. Oh. In a, uh, in a, uh, uh, a sink. A cat in a sink. Oh. Cute. But, uh, Milo's a pretty witty guy, so can I hand off the phone to him and he can give you a sentence to put up on the word? Um, okay, I, yeah, I guess. Is he gonna do something vulgar? vulgar? Yeah, is, something is he really gonna say it. something pe about penises again? Yeah, is he gonna say something about penises so, and minorities? No, that's fine, you know that, yeah, he doesn't... Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah he should, he's allowed to say he's got freedom of choice here on the program, so. Okay, Milo, do you have anything witty? Just one, one phrase? He's got a new Twitter follower. Oh yeah? Christy should Jones. we give them a shout out? Yeah. Christy yeah. Don't yeah. Don't yeah, it happened. What Milo? Did you say? Yep. Milo? I'd like to give a shout out to my uh, Windows XP system. Uh, it's been really great. I'm glad you switched. Thank you. All right, thanks, Milo. That is good. That is good. Okay, you guys have a great night. Yeah, thanks thanks for reminding me. Yeah, yeah. See you soon. There we go. All right, bye bye there. Right. 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 Talk to those guys. Yeah. What cultural, cultural people there from. Uh, they're from, uh, what, Louisiana, Iowa, Louisiana. All right. Let's call some more McDonald's here. Let's call this next one. I'm saying Wyanee. Hawaii. Wyanee. 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 Find out if they deep fry their toe. See if, see if they'll, if they have any apple pies. I think they have apple pies too. That they deep fry those. Could we get them to do that? Hey, I have a question. I have a question. Are you guys on your pies? Are they baked pies? Or do you guys fry the pies? Oh, it's deep fried. Deep fried? Yes. Do you guys have? Well, we don't. We, we used to have the bacon, but in Hawaii we don't carry the big pies. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Are they, are they different ties for the bacon and the fried ones? You just put the big ties and put them in the fryer. You put it in the fryer. Yeah. You guys, yeah. You, what kind of ties you guys got right now? Right now we have the apple, our regular apple pie, and then apple cinnamon, and then we have our new uh, seasonal uh, taro pie. Oh, sure. Hey, what, what's the flavor of the taro pie? Is it the Mm, it's sweet, and no, it's different from the pumpkin pie. I'm, I'm sorry. You gotta try, you, you're gonna have to try to taste it because some people like it and some people gotta have the jalapeno pie, which is like a coconut. It's different from the coconut pie. Oh, you guys have cooked the pie yet? I'm calling from Washington State. I want to get one of these, these Hawaiian pies, but uh, they, <laughs> they don't have them over here. Do you guys, maybe, maybe you guys can get, like, send some, can you guys send some? Like, if, if I ask my local McDonald's, do you think that you guys could send some to my local McDonald's so I could try out well, these? You could try it all, maybe, maybe, hey, maybe, I'm not too sure about that, but you know, because the quality part, you know what I mean? If you send it to another McDonald's, they're going to have to contact our regional office. We're a franchise, so you're going to have to call a corporate office. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, the other, maybe the franchise, maybe our local franchise, if we called our local franchise, would they be able to do something about it? Well, you could always fly, fly more frozen, but again, you got to work on a deal, like anything else, because um, the mainland, the, the import, the import part is like, we get it from Asia. We buy stuff from Asia. Is the fry? Do you fry them in the same fryer as like the fries? No, it's separate. It's a different French, one. French, okay. French, French fries are just French fries, and we have one for fish, and one for chicken. Oh. And the pies are just separate. Everything is all separate. Okay. So keep it that way, so it's cleaner that way. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's great. No problem. Take care. Thank you so much. All right. Wow. That was a very informative McDonald's call. Yeah. Taro pies. I really oh, want to get those. I want to. I wonder if they've got the, the pie fryer. So it sounds like they've got some kind of special pie fryer. Are there different temperatures? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to. I want a turtle pie. I want to try this turtle pie. It's like a potato. It's some kind of root. Yeah, like root kind of thing. Uh, that's, that's, that'll be good. I mean, someone seemed to think that it's not just Hawaii, so that might mean that it's around somewhere else, right? Yeah. They have more pies. I haven't heard anything about it. I've been calling you know, about the pies. I think I've been on the pies for months. I, mean, I don't know when I moved from milkshakes to pies, but it's been, <laughs> it's been a while. And yeah, uh, they don't, I've never heard anything about it. There's some, there's some interesting stuff going on right now. Like uh, at the local McDonald's here in Olympia, the franchise that just took over, or the, the lady who just took over, Lori Berryman, has now made a rule about extra sauces. You have to pay for extra sauces now. Yeah. And they changed owners, huh? Yeah, it changed owners. But the uh, like the items that would usually get sauces, like nuggets, still get like they get their sauces plus one. So you get plus one sauce all the time. You get one sauce, and anything after one sauce after that is extra. I don't know how much extra the the sauces cost, but I don't know about that. Cause sometimes I feel like I run out. Of, I've used too much sauce. Maybe I should stop using as much sauce when I need to remember. Yeah, so I run out of sauces. We should try to call them and try to get sponsored again if they change owners. Cause I, yeah, I don't know what happened to the old owner if we were trying to talk to them, but yeah. I found them. Yeah. Well, we're getting down to it. We have about 10 minutes left on the program. You know, when we started the show today, I wasn't sure what we were going to do and didn't know if we were going to get through it. But, you know, it just kind of works itself out. We just keep going and then we get through time. So I guess we can uh, call Sean back. He left us a message here. We'll see if he has anything to say today if anything's happening in Seattle, maybe you see some of the streets in Seattle. Looks like John Whalen tried to call too. I don't know if he's I out we, there. I Did we try to call him? So it said this call and also the voicemail. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Yes. All right, I can feel it. I am excited. I I know it. Hey, Sean, have you, have you, have you been on the news? No, but I really thought it would be great if like if I was on the news like live, I would I would ask my wife to to marry her again because that's something you do on the news, yeah. Have you? 
Or at a sporting event? You should do that at the next sporting event you go to. Oh, yeah. Anytime you're on the jumbo car, just kneel down and ask the former director to marry you. Yeah, just go for it. Yeah. Just do it again, yeah. No, I've never seen it in action, but I've learned. I, I feel like I, I've been saved by it before, but I don't know. I seem to remember, Did like... Did you do it? Well, on? No, I think my, I, when I was a kid or something, my parents maybe might have done it or something. Why are you asking, why are you asking all these questions, Kenny? Is this a question show? No, I just, uh, I, 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 I don't know why... Are these topics? I don't know why I started doing it about the hype, like, you know, the few questions that I started asking people, I don't think you can do it about too much. No. No, I mean, those are, those are good questions. Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm always trying to think of these questions that are leading into a story, you know, not just a... Uh -huh. You know, not about preferences, you know, like, you know, tell me a story. Well, maybe I can, you know, uh, tell a story that people otherwise they wouldn't want to tell or just kind of forget about. Right. Or you can try to be like, what are your dreams? What's a weird dream you had? Yeah. But if you get a weird dream, then it gets all... Yeah, uh, uh, imagination. that's more maybe for Olympia Dream Phone. I think that it's a good, I think it's good to do, but, you know, there's other... I like some solid, it was pretty good not, you know, not... Real not, life. Not, not mine, not yeah, I can, mine. I can, can I say like a two minute story then? If this is true. Yes. Right. So, uh, I was, I do birthday parties on the weekends, so... This girl, this girl was turning six years old, and she had like 14 of her friends, and it's, it's in, you know, a kid's play area, it's a building. And the building, the land or owner lives in the corner of the building, it's also shared by a teriyaki place, this is somewhere in Bellevue. And it's, you know, a building with like a, a few different places, there's, there's also uh, an, uh, a lawyer who works out of the same building. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I pulled him out, I think. What happened to the lawyer? Sean? Hello? Hey. Oh, yeah, what, what, what happened to the lawyer? Well, the lawyer works there, and everything's going fine. And then, so, when she's having her birthday party, um, the, as the parents are trying to leave, there's this old man in a wheelchair who's, like, mumbling to himself right outside the door. So the kids are frightened to, to leave, and the parents are like, "What? It was who is this guy? Who's that guy?" And they're like, seconds. "It's really scary." And he just wanted to take his coat off. All right, let your story at the end of the show. That's it. He awesome. just wanted to take his coat off. All right, thanks, Sean. We'll hey, see you thanks, later. Sean. That was a good story. It's nice to talk to you. Yeah, nice to hear from you guys. Yeah. Call me whenever. Yeah. I think it's almost over. We got five seconds left now. You have anything left to say before we go up? Um, nice to be back on the show. It's nice, nice to have you there. Thanks, Sean. Bye bye. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Messages.